Baptist Church broadcast. We are the equipping ministry, empowering the people of God for the work of the kingdom. Our pastor is Reverend Johnny Napoleon Golden Sr. We are so blessed to have you join us today. Thank you, and let's begin worship. My command is this, saith the Lord, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. May the Lord our God be with us as he was with our ancestors. May he never leave nor forsake us. Good morning, beloved. We thank and praise God for your presence this morning. And our opening selection will be, congregational song will be, what a friend we have in Jesus, amen. you brother Dixon our invocational prayer Deacon Francis Jackson will be leading us this morning following the prayer our musical selection will be rendered by brother Francis Dixon we're going to ask all who are able to please stand in the presence of the Lord this morning God bless you leader remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old yeah Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Mm. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the deserts. Dear God, as we enter into the third week of our new year, 2021, mm. our family and friends day, we ask that you please keep us under the blood of Jesus. Yes. Thank you that you make all things new. Thank you for all that you have allowed in our lives this past year, the good along with the hard things, yeah. which have reminded us how much we need to rely on your presence, yes, Lord. filling us every day. We pray for your spirit to lead us each day of this year. Lord, I pray for your protection and peace from Baltimore and throughout the world. I pray for your supernatural intervention. I know you have the power to stop, prevent, and ease the burden of the crisis that is happening in the world today. Yeah. We know you bring the sun and the moon, and you set the stars in motion. You tell the ocean where to stop and the snow when to start. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the mighty gift of creation. Thank you, Lord, for our spiritual leaders. Thank you for our pastor, Johnny N. Golden Sr., our First Lady, Reverend Wanda Golden, who always encourage us to go on when we are close to giving up. Let no hurt, harm, or danger come to them and their household. Let your spirit speak through the pastor as he brings forth your holy word this morning virtually lifting up the sacred urn, 
We ask that every prayer request be granted yes, yes. in the book of Jubilee. Jubilee. We thank you now for answer prayers and move mountains. And Lord, we ask you to grant us peace in our homes, peace in our churches, and peace in our hearts when all the world around us spins out of control. Help us to stay focused on you this new year and yeah. always. Thank you for the loving world. Thank you for the loving world enough to send the greatest gift of your gift, your son, giving us thanks and praise always in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. you god bless you god bless you thank you so much our litany and proclamation this morning sister nadine jackson will be leading us amen and the word from the sacred canon our deacon philip randolph will be 
guiding us in the word. Amen. We're going to ask all who are able to please stand in the presence of the Lord. If you are physically able, God bless you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Our litany and proclamation is coming from 1 Samuel 7th chapter, 9th verse, 10th verse, and the 12th verse. And Sam, excuse me, and Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it for a burnt offering. The Philistines drew near to the battle against Israel, but the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines and discomfited them. And they were smitten before Israel. <clears throat> then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpah and Shen and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. Um, 1 Samuel 7th chapter, 9th verse, 10th verse, and 12th verse excerpt. What day is this? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Oh, let us go into the house. Oh, messing up. And our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. There it is. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain that they may run and read it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, yeah, but at yeah. the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it linger, wait for it, because it will surely come. For the just shall live by his faith. Yeah. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. And God made some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the kingdom, for the edifying of the, of the body of Christ, until we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto the fullness of Christ. Amen. Good morning, church. I will be reading from the Holy Writ. The word of God will be found in St. John 15th chapter, verses 6 through 15. Again, that St. John, 15th chapter, verses 6 through 15. And the word reads as follows. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them, and they cast them into fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my, whole, and my words abide in you, Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father's glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so ye shall be, with, be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so I have loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, and if ye do whatsoever I command you, Henceforth, I call you not servants. Yeah, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. The word of God for the people of God. God bless you, Brother Randall. God bless you. At this time, we have a very special welcome coming from our own minister, Gail Wilson. Amen, and God bless you, leader. Well, good morning, everyone out there in Zoom land. We welcome you this morning on behalf of our pastor, Johnny N. Golden, and his wife, Reverend 
Wanda Golden on this Family and Friends Day. In order for you to have friends, we must make ourselves friendly. According to the word in Proverbs 18, praise the Lord, 1824. So we welcome you this morning on this anointed day, a friendly day, a lovely day, a wonderful day, a good God bless you day. Welcome friends and family to our Family and Friends Day. On behalf of our pastor and New Unity Baptist Church, we love you all. God bless you. Good morning, church. It's now time for our youth and worship. Today we have Sister Kiana Jackson. Sister Kiana is a young lady who is part of our MTM ministry. She's also in our junior jammers class on Saturday school. She is the great granddaughter of Deacon Francis Jackson and the granddaughter of Sister Nadine Jackson. So at this time, I present to you Sister Kiana Jackson, amen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kiana Jackson. I'm 14 years old and I attend Parkville High School. Today I will be reading Ephesians chapter six, verses one through three. Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord, for this is the right thing to do. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you and you will have a long life on the earth. Ephesians chapter six, verses one through three, amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Kiana. Amen and go. In the Zoom neighborhood, amen, amen. So you just got a wonderful welcome from our ministry leaders of the evangelism and outreach ministry. Ministers Annette Dixon and Gail Wilson, again, welcome all family and friends. This is our Family and Friends Day. I would like to take this opportunity to highlight for you all upcoming events, because although we're virtual, we still stay connected as a church family. Amen. First of all, New Unity, we have our ministry campaign. Today is the last day. Um, it's being sponsored by our ministry, um, mission ministry under leadership of sisters Angela Carter and Tanya Scott. They are doing pickup and drop off of warm socks um, for to help our Baltimore homeless citizens. So please, our goal is to exceed and collect hundreds and hundreds of pairs of new, sh new socks for the homeless community. So please make sure you see or contact or reach out sisters Angela Carter and Tanya Scott so that we can continue our season of gain of growth and generous giving, our Warm Faith, our Warm Feet ministry, mission ministry campaign, amen. And also we're continuing, you know, we're still in the first of the year. So we're gonna continue to have our vision, you know, capture the vision, stay focused. So our annual future focus visioning encounter will be with Pastor Golden. That's gonna take place on this Saturday, January 23rd at 10 o'clock a.m. on Zoom channel number one. We're asking all New Unity Baptist Church members, men, women, boys and girls, and you can bring a friend. We got, we got extended family uh, with us today. Bring them as well um, so that we can also cast our vision. We'll hear from Pastor Golden. There will be a brief opening. And then most importantly, everyone bring your materials, um, construction board, markers, crayons, color pencils, personal photos, et cetera, because we're gonna create our personal vision board. Um, and it's gonna represent our life goals as well as our desires and aspirations. So again, that's January, this Saturday, the 23rd at 10 o'clock AM. So come with your vision and be prepared to be creative, amen? And also we will have our monthly Joshua ministry meeting. It's the first for the year. And that's gonna be on Saturday, January 30th at 9.45 a.m. on Zoom channel number one. And that's for all ministers and deacons. Again, that's on January 30th at 9.45 a.m. And we're having a call meeting. Pastor Golden is calling on all members ages 18 to 35, New Unity members to join him on Monday, February 8th. And that's next month, that's only a couple of weeks. 
February 8th at 7 o'clock p.m. on our Zoom number one channel. So again, that is in the month of February 8th or Monday at 7 o'clock p.m. And while I'm on February, let's start thinking right now. It's right the vision month. That is when New Unity, we come together and we not only write the vision, make it plain, we also um, look at Black History Month and we honor Black History Month and all of our ancestors past, present, and the future. So stay tuned for our information. This is where we share poems and we have spiritual hymnals. So myself, Deacon Sandra Jackson and Deacon Tamara Randolph, we will be reaching out to you, each and every one of you, everyone, so that we can have a uh, lots of events during the month of February to commemorate Black History Month as well as Write the Vision Month. Amen. Also, prayer works. And so the prayer ministry is seeking creative minds to bring new life into the ministry of prayer. So we need you. If you're energetic, you're dynamic, and it, as applicants of all ages are encouraged to apply. So please seek Minister Catherine Giles if you're interested um, in the prayer ministry. And while we're on the subject of prayer, just want to let everyone know, remind some, but especially our family and friends who joined us today, every Saturday morning at 7 a.m., we have a prayer line. We come on for an hour where we pray together because, you know, the church and family that stay together, prays together. So that's every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Again, if you need further information about our prayer line, please see Minister Catherine Giles. And we're continuing to also celebrate our January's um, celebrants. Happy birthday. We have upcoming birthdays um, in the next two weeks. Brother Nigel Thomas, Brother Anthony Thomas, Deacon Philip Randolph, Mother Virginia Woodley, and Sister Peggy Butler. So again, happy birthday to all those in January. And everyone have a great rest of the day. Amen. Hey Amen. Good morning, New Unity family, friends, and all who share with us today. Thank you once again so very, very much. On behalf of our wonderful committee, has been announced already, uh, Minister uh, Gail Wilson and our Minister Annette Ellison Dixon, thank you both for serving and thank all of you for heeding the call. Amen. Inviting your family and friends and oh, how delighted we are to have each of you with us today. We're going to learn a little bit more about you, where you're from, who's the furthest away, who's the closest to us and all the rest. And we're excited all about it already. Thank you, Sister Nadine Jackson. Sister Nadine, uh, bring Kiana back on screen. Did, did she say that? Did I understand that she's uh, attending Parkville? Is that right? Yes. And uh, Parkville, and she's 14 years old now? Yes. And She's that's right. And what are you, uh, Parkville is a magnet school, isn't it? Yes. So I know you don't live in that area, so you had to be pretty smart to get in there. What what subject are you going for to uh, go deep in in Parkville? Teaching. Teaching? Mm -hmm. That's a career goal, but what subject are you? Is that a particular subject that you, is it math, is it reading, is it science, is it? American government. American government. All right, we need you right now, amen, with all the things that are going on in our, in our nation, particularly in our capital, but here in Baltimore and across the land. But thank you, uh, Sister Kiana. Thank you so very much. Thank you, their grandmother. Amen. amen. And so we had the entire Jackson clan just about today. Your mother was uh, gave us the prayers. Thank you, Deacon Francis Jackson. And then Sister uh, uh, Nadine, amen, the reading. And uh, you, Kiana, thank all of you, uh, Jackson family. Thank you. Uh, extended family, uh, Deacon Sandra Jackson. She must be the little sister to the Jackson clan. Amen for the <laughs> for the announcements this morning. Thank you as well. Amen. Deacon Philip Randolph, as well as you um, uh, who shared uh, in our service this morning. Deacon Denise Palin. Amen. Amen. I'm going to move out the way because I want to find out who we have here with us, Sister uh, uh, Sandy and uh, all these families who are sharing with us today and friends or, and where they're coming from, Deacon High, and if they're close or far or whatever, who's got the largest and, and who's got the prettiest, well, everybody got the prettiest. <laughs> That's right. So we know we, get, we don't have enough prizes for that one. Amen. But everybody's going to receive, amen, the blessing for the Lord as we share here. It's a beautiful day here in Baltimore. And so I'm going to step aside and bring on our leader of our of our uh, finance ministry, Deacon Vanessa 
uh, Harris Thomas. She's going to come share a word with us. Amen. Let me even say as she prepares to come, thank all of you who continue to give and support our month of in gathering. Amen. Our month of in gathering, our first fruits. Amen. That we shared on the first Sunday of this month for this entire month of January. Amen. And look how the Lord continues to bless. Somebody may think it was a, it was just a, a happenstance, but some folk got extra six hundred dollars, amen, because the Lord knew where your heart was, amen, in terms of blessing him, amen, and giving to the church. And so he's made a way, and others are going to get it. We believe that there may be more coming, amen. By the grace of God, somebody say with me, you can't be God given no you matter uh, how you try, amen. And you don't know how God's going to do. He reminds us, doesn't he? Not that my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways your ways, no way. saith the Lord. Amen. And so where you and I thought it was going to come from here, or we might have been fretting, right? I can't do that, Pastor Gold. I don't know how I'm going to do it. That's ridiculous. That's beyond my ability. Don't ever, ever give up on God. Don't ever, ever forget that we serve a God of miracles. Amen. We are people of faith. Amen. Now what? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. What else is it? It is evidence. It is evidence. It is evidence. Amen. You know what evidence is. Evidence is the thing that you present. Amen. Normally in court, but not always in court. You present. Amen. That are what we call bona fides. B-O-N-A-F-I-D-E-S. Bona fides. Amen. That they are legitimate. Amen. That they substantiate. They verify the fact that whatever is the claim. Amen. We have evidence of it to be true. And we say that faith is what? It is the evidence of things not seen. Don't ever, ever give up on God, no matter what your situation is, no matter how difficult it is. In fact, the more difficult it is, the closer you are to get to him. Amen. You ought to just run to him. Amen. Lord, I need you. I need you in this, in this hour. So come on, Deacon uh, Vanessa Thomas. Won't you come and share with us uh, this morning? And then we move further into this service today as we continue to march up the King's Highway. Amen, amen, and amen. Good morning, New Unity family and visiting friends. We're going to prepare now to give our morning's offerings. Deuteronomy 16, 16b and 17 reads, They shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessings of the Lord your God, that he has given you. So we thank you even now, New Unity. We thank God for your faithfulness in, in your life. We pray that you are seeing the fulfillment of God as you give your tithe and your offerings as God promises in his word. Everything we have is because of God's goodness and mercies towards us. So let's prepare even now to give. On the screen, you can see our three convenient ways in which you can give. You can mail in to New Unity Baptist Church at P.O. Box 313, that's Chase, Maryland, 21027. You can also go to our cash app, which is dollar sign New Unity Baltimore, or you can go online or use our Toddly app, that's T-I-T-H-E dot L-Y. Again, we say thank you for your faithfulness unto God. Now let us pray. Father, we thank you for the gifts that we're about to give. We thank you for the opportunity to give and to sow in your kingdom. We bring our tithe and obedience to your word. Then you instructs us that obedience is better than sacrifice and you delight in our obedience. Bless every giver, even those that go beyond the tithe and offerings. We pray that you will bless them abundantly, even 30, 60, and 100 fold. We present our gifts to you and ask that you will multiply for the building of your kingdom and for your works. For it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All things come of thee, O Lord. And the Lamb that He gives me. Amen.
Come on, Minister Dixon. Let's have let's introduce some of these guests we have with us today, won't you please? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We do honor the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, today. We honor our pastors, Pastor Johnny and Wanda Golden, for this wonderful day. Amen. This Amen. is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and being glad in it. We are here to honor those who came on this Family and Friends Day uh, celebrating. We're celebrating family and friends on this morning. And we are honoring those who brought the most family and friends, those who brought, and when we say brought the most family and friends, those who, who are on the Zoom channel this morning, we're not counting those that are still home, you know, still in the bed, still sleep, but those who are on the channel this morning, we're honoring those who brought the most family and friends. We got about 85. <laughs> we're honoring those who uh, who are uh, what those who are out of town guests and to the young person who brought um family and friend online so we are asking our um uh deacon Hoover help us out with this amen praise the lord new unity we're gonna, the lord. we're gonna switch over um, to our gallery so that we'll have the opportunity to be able to see everyone, okay? And so you all know the people that you've invited. And so you get a chance to flip through the screens now to be able to say, to be able to look to see who actually came and joined in with us, amen? And so let's, let's back into this thing. So let's first of all say, who may have bought the person who is the farthest away? And so for anyone who may have bought someone um, a distance away, we're going to give you the opportunity to share with us now, opening up mics, give you the opportunity to be able to share with us now that you'll be able to open up your microphone and be able to share with us. So we ask that when you open your mic, you say your name first, that way we know who it is, and then you tell us how far away you have someone visiting with us today. And so we're gonna to go to a gallery screen now so that we'll be able to get a bigger picture of everyone who's present. So is there anyone who wants to be able to say someone that they may have bought up? So open your mic, say your name, and then we'll acknowledge you. Good morning, Marion High. Okay, Deacon High, you have someone right, I, from where? All right, I have my son and my daughter in love, Brian and Lori Hill. And they're from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Amen. And so, and so we're gonna ask you, Deacon High, that you have Brian do the miles. So meaning miles from Baltimore, because it's gonna come down to miles and then we'll be able to say uh, what yours might be. So for the other people that are coming ahead, we ask you go ahead and do your miles and that way we'll know how far away your person is, okay? So that's Deacon High with, with her son. Brian, it's so good to see you and Lori. And so we're honoring God even now for your presence with us. And so you do the miles and let us know. Put your number in the chat. Who else? We're going to go down the line and we'll see. Someone else open up your microphone. Member, Sister Rhonda Thomas. Yes. I have um, a very good family friend who is visiting from Texas, Brenda Holmes. Okay. So you and Sister Brenda from Texas, do the miles and let us know, because you know, Texas is a big state, you know, so we need to be able to say where it is so we'll know what the miles are. Anyone else? Anyone else? Who else do I see out there? Sister Anel? Sister Anel? Okay, Sister Anel, you open up your microphone. Uh, good morning, first of all. Well, good morning, I, family. I if she doesn't, oh, sorry. She knows what she's doing, Brother Antoine. <laughs> I might not, but I just wanted to, I was getting ready to mention him, and I know he has to leave to go to his service, but that's my son, Aunt, uh, Reverend uh, Antoine, and his wife, his wife, Erin, and my two grandsons, uh, Drew and Antoine, all the way from Columbus, Mississippi. Okay. And I also have my, I also have my niece from Ridgeway, South Carolina, Dr. Tiffany Simpson, they are worshiping with me today. 
Okay, Sister Anna, you have both. Antoine, you do the miles for your mother and let us know what your miles are. And Sister Thank Anna, you. you do your miles from South Carolina. We'll be able to see. Anybody else have someone coming? I know. It's, uh, okay. I can tell you South Carolina. I can tell you from South Carolina. We're ready, Sister Anna. What's your number? 500. Okay. And Brother Antoine, what's your number? 900. Okay, Sister Rhonda, you got your Texas number. Sister Marion, you have your Minnesota number? Not yeah. yet. Mine's is 1,194. That's definitely her father. Okay, and Sister Marion will be giving us her Minnesota miles. Brian, you help your mom and get those miles from Baltimore to where you are. Anybody else? Good morning, this is Jessica White. Good morning, Hi, Jessica. Friday. Good morning. I invited one of my friends from freshman year at Bowie State, Lena Williamson. She also said her mom is on with her and they're down on the eastern shore. So it's about 77 miles for them. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Jessica. And thank you so much for college mates, sometimes lifelong friends that are joining with us today. 77 miles. Amen. Anyone else? Good morning. I have my, my um, friend from my Tell me who you are. Good morning. Um, good morning. I'm, Nate, I'm Sister Nadine Jackson. Okay, Sister Nadine. And I'm just glad to see my sister Lorraine on this morning. And I also have my friend from New York from our former church, Shakira Brown, is on this morning. And, and make sure you tell us the miles, Sister Nadine. I will. Okay. Anyone else for miles? So while they're doing those final calculations, waiting on you, Sister Marion, waiting on you, Sister Nadine, we're going to move on to our young people. And so do we have any of our young people today who bought a friend? Do we have anyone in our young people cadre who actually bought a friend with them today? If you did, you can open up your microphone and let us know who you are. Praise God. And we have Sister Jessica with her. I know she's turning 26 pretty soon. And did she say she had somebody from the Eastern Shore with her? Jessica, you brought a friend with you today? Yes, that's my friend from the Eastern Shore from school. And what's her name again? Lena Williamson. Okay, Lena. Anyone else brought a friend from our young, youth or young adults? And I do believe my cousin, uh, Deacon, uh, who is on, but she's been with us on a regular basis, Sister Thelma Brown from Greenville, South Carolina, 600 miles away. Amen, Pastor Golda. And then our final category that we're going to be calculating is who bought the most number of people. And so you all have been looking through the screens. That's why we, we saved you for last because you know who you invited, but you might not know who came. So that gives you a chance to now look through and see who came. So let's help us help us. Um, is there anybody who bought more than five people and they came? I see your hand, Sister Rhonda Thomas. Anybody else bought more than five people? You can open up your microphone because I can't see everyone. If there's somebody who invited more than five people. Okay, Sister Rhonda, let's see what your number is. Tell us who, who came with you today. Okay, I have um, Monique Ramsey. Mm -hmm. Nick. Brenda Holmes, good family friend. I have Dr. Sybil Escara and her boyfriend. Amen. Um, I have Dr. Owen Thomas. Hey. I have my coworker, Latina Williams. Amen. I have, uh, da, 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 let me see. I'm trying to go through the screen, sorry. Amen. Uh, I have, uh, Kim Baby Jones, um, a nurse practitioner. Amen. I have Christina William. Christina, she is my coworker as well. Um, I hope I'm not missing anybody. Um, oh, that's great, Sister. Oh, I, think great. I think that's I think that's about it. But thank you, everybody, for coming. If I missed you, just send a chat. I'm sorry if I overlooked you. A check or a chat? What did you say? A chat. C-H-A-T. <laughs> I'm nervous. 
I didn't know if you said check or chat. Amen. I thought you maybe you were too. you were paying up, <laughs> paying to get, move your number up on the coronavirus vaccination. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I really appreciate it. So it looks like leader. I'm talking to our leaders now. I'm Sister Annette and Sister Gail. It looks like our numbers are in. So for the ones who yes. bought the most persons, yes, it looks like it's our very own deacon, Rhonda Thomas. Rhonda Thomas. Yes. So let's congratulate Sister Rhonda. Amen. Amen. Amen, Sister Rhonda. Thank the Lord for you. Amen and amen. Okay. I'm sorry. One more person. I'm sorry. My granddaughter. Sorry, Bria. Love you. God bless you. Thank the Lord for granddaughters. And then also, it looks like for our person who bought our young person who bought a young person, Jessica it is White. our very own Sister Jessica White. Yes. Yes. Amen, Sister Jessica. I think Jessica for three people. Sister Jessica mean, bought three people. I think. Where's Jessica? But this young person bought a young person. So Sister Jessica bought a young person. Amen. Mm, right. God bless you, Sister Jessica. And then also for the person who bought the, the someone from the furthest away, oh, I think Brother John also has, has invited his sister here from Georgia, 684 miles. Mm -hmm. Sister Marion. Yes, I have it. miles are. We're ready. Yes, it was 1,112 miles. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a close one, isn't it? Yes. So we have, for the person who bought the most, Sister Rhonda Thomas, for the young yeah. person who bought a young person, Sister Jessica White, and then for our members who are the furthest away, we have Sister Rhonda Thomas at 1194 and Sister Marion High at 11:12. Amen and amen. amen. Yes. Please, we'll allow you to just say our closing words about the presentations. We do thank you all for uh, joining in. It, it was so uh, wonderful just to uh, have you uh, uh, do what you do best. Rhonda, I knew, I knew that you were going to be in there. Uh, thank you all for um, doing what you did. And thank God for Pastor for allowing us to do this. Amen. Amen and amen. Today is Family and Friends Sunday, but you can come back again next week as well. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Golden, the mic is yours. Amen. Well, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's celebrate all of these wonderful persons who are with us today. We thank you for joining us. Amen. There could not be a finer day, a better day. Amen. And to join us on this Sunday as we celebrate nationally. Amen. Uh, the Reverend um, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Amen National Holiday birthday uh, as a nation on tomorrow. And of course, we know that Dr. King always referred to us as what? The beloved community, didn't he? He always talked about the beloved community, the beloved the community, the beloved community. And so what better day to have a family and friends day, amen, when we celebrate the beloved community that Dr. King was so uh, prominent and pr pronounced in uh, letting us know about it and keeping it before us as a people and as a nation. So we thank each of you once again for sharing. Thank you again, ministers, for your um, for your work and your diligence. Thank every one of you from uh, one mile, amen, one block, one bed away, amen, to almost 1,200 miles away. Thank every one of you. We are so grateful that you decided to share with us here on this day. Amen, amen. Brother Francis Dixon is going to come down and share with us, amen, a, a word in song, Then we come in with the word. Deacon, uh, uh, Hoover, before he comes, let me just ask as he tunes up, is it possible, I don't want to embarrass anyone, but I would love for the church as a whole to see these persons. Can, is it possible we can open up their mic, they can just say good morning, New Unity, that way we could at least see them. Uh, we know that there they are, uh, some of them may want to, some of them may not, but if they could unmute all of our guests who are with us, uh, whether you are 77 miles, Sister Jessica, your friend from the Eastern Shore, all the way to 1,200 miles uh, from Texas and uh, 1,100 miles from Minnesota, where we would love to see your face, amen. And so if you don't mind, amen, if you don't mind, 
Amen. Could you unmute and say good morning to New Unity? Deacon Hoover, we'd love to, to see those persons on camera. Amen. Amen, Pastor Golden. And so Brenda, good morning, New, good morning, New Unity. Monique Ramsey, uh, niece of Rhonda Thomas. We'll Thank you for inviting me. Hold on, hold one moment there. We're going to get you on camera. There we are. So we're glad to have you, Sister Ramsey, and thank you for our dear, your dear niece, Sister Rhonda, for inviting you. If you for sharing with us today, Amen and Amen. Thank you. Amen. We're going down the line, New Unity. Where is, where is brother, brother Brian? Brother Brian, are you there? Just unmute your mic, please. I am here. Good morning, New Unity. This is Brian and Lori, their son and daughter-in-law of Marion High. Thank you okay. for inviting us. Okay, because we want to pull you up on the camera. I'm just sorry, I'm a little slow on the uptake today. Let me know when you're there. I am. I just didn't have my Wheaties. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Once again, good morning, New Unity. Uh, thank you for inviting us. This is Brian and Lori, uh, the son and daughter-in-law of Marion High. Amen. Praise from Minnesota. Good to see you, Brother Brian. What's the weather up there this morning? Out there, up, up, up out? Um, it's cold. It's about <laughs> uh, 20 degrees. Oh. Overcast. Now, you are in St. Paul, where, where are you? Where are you? We're actually in West St. Paul. West St. Paul. Okay, good. Okay. Yes. We know that area. All right, Twin Cities, Twin Cities. Yep. All right, thank you again. Thank you. Nice time. Yes, sir. Good morning. This is Sybil Escara and Jonathan. We're guests of Rhonda Thomas. Thanks oh, for right. having us. You know, we got, we got almost 90 people on here. Take a minute to find you. Okay, more more. Sybil. Here comes Dr. Sybil even now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us who you are. Jonathan Gonzalez Smith. This is uh, Sybil Escueta, and we're in Baltimore. Amen. And you're here with Sister Rhonda Thomas. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. We're glad yeah. to have you. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you so very much. Amen. Are you from the Great John Hopkins Hospital? Yes. Wonderful. 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 <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Do we have any others? Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. I bring greetings from the Garden of Prayer Christian Church with a very kind oh, pastor. Find you. Tell us, you got to give us your name. Oh. You. My name is uh, Reverend Latina Williamson. Okay, Hold on. on one moment. Let us find you. Then we're going to bring you up on camera, please. Yes, we are. This is, we got a lot of people with us today. So this is a good problem. There she is. Is that her? Yes, that's me. Yeah. All righty. Um, I bring you greetings from the Garden of Prayer Christian Church. Christian Church, where my pastor is the overseer, Pastor Brenda McLean Tuggle, Reverend Golden. I believe my apostle was one of your friends, uh, Melvin Tuggle. Um, uh, he, that he passed away, but um, I, I believe we met you a while ago. But our church, this the Garden of Prayer Christian Church, um, and I just was invited by my supervisor and my friend and my sister in Christ, Reverend. I mean, I'm great. Call you Reverend Rhonda. <laughs> Um, um, Deacon Rhonda Thomas, I think I told her I was going to pop in in between my service. So I just wanted to um, congratulate to say happy family and friends day to each and every one of you to Unity Baptist Church. Um, it's a pleasure worshiping with y'all this morning. And I just thank God for just allowing me to see another day. Thank you so very, very much. And indeed, your pastor, Dr. Tuggle, is one of my great, great, great friends, such a mentor to me in my early years, some 20 plus years ago. Thank you again. Amen. Love to your pastor as well, Sister Brenda, Dr. Brenda. Amen. Good morning. Okay, Ms. Brenda. Hi. Good morning. This is Brenda Holmes from McKinney, Texas. Long long-time friend of Deacon Rhonda Thomas. Uh, thank you for inviting me and doing the service so far. And, um, I've known Rhonda since she was probably two years old. Mm. <laughs> Long what's, time. The, what's, what's the big city that you're close to? <laughs> we would know. Houston or Dallas or Fort Worth? Texas. What I is it? 
McKinney, Texas. Yeah, what's the big yeah. city that we would know? <laughs> no, our big city is, uh, we are north of Dallas. Got you now. We're north of Dallas. We, we got you. All right. Well, uh, I go to one community church, which is actually in Plano, Texas, which is the next little city next to me. We know Plano. Mm -hmm. Absolutely been in the news lately. All right, wonderful. Yes, it has. Yeah. So just a pleasure to worship with you uh, this morning. And uh, thank you so much, Rhonda, for inviting me. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Do we have anyone else who wants to be able to share their loved one that's fellowshipping with us today? Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my name is Erlene Thomas. I work with Rhonda. Rhonda's an awesome friend of mine. And it's a pleasure to be here this morning to um, share the service. Praise, Praise the Lord. We're good to have you, Dr. Thomas. So glad. Amen. You. Good morning. Okay, who else do we have out there that wants to share with us? The Good morning. This is Kim Kearney, uh, sister to John and Katrina. I uh, just wanted to say that I am so happy to see everyone this morning, old friends, new friends, uh, worshiping with you guys from Atlanta, and just want to say thank you for your prayers. My brother has been recovering amazingly Amen. and um, could, not, could not be possible without God's grace, so we're just so thankful for all your love and support and your prayers for our family, and um, it's, it's a pleasure to, to worship with you guys this morning, and keep me in your prayers, and I will do the same for you. Amen. Amen. ATL is in the house. Wonderful. <laughs> Amen. Anyone else want to be able to share? The opportunity is yours. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. <laughs> you are. This is Sister Daphne. Good morning, New Unity. Just wanted to wish everyone a happy new year. And it's good to see faces uh, that I haven't seen this year. And I wish you all well in your family and friends and love each and every one of you. Hi, Kim. Hi, Mill. Amen. God bless you. Hey, Daphne. Good to have you as well. You look great. Thank you. He is a healer. Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else want to be able to share? The opportunity is yours. This is such a, a, a present pleasure. Who is that saying? Hi, that? I'm Lana, mm -hmm. Jessica's friend here with my mom. Just want to say thank you for having us. Hold on one sec, Lana. We need to zero in on you. Hold tight. Because Jessica is a princess in our church. <laughs> so when a princess invites someone, we want to be able to highlight them. I just am pausing because I had to find you, Lana. And there you are. Okay, Lana. Hello. Just wanted to say hi and thank you for having us. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And we're glad to have you too. Thank now you. This, now this young lady from Bowie? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. I went, to, I went to Bowie with Jessica for a year, yes. And what did you major in? Did you graduate? Um, I actually transferred to UMBC, but I graduated with a, a bachelor's in health administration. You graduated to a good school, probably the greatest small small college in the, in the entire mid-Atlantic region. I only say that because that's my alma mater. Oh, okay. <laughs> and of course, the young lady, the young lady who uh, is so uh, prominent in working on this coronavirus drug is also a graduate, undergraduate from UMBC. And uh, so we are very, very excited about her. Amen. All right, wonderful. So glad to have you again. Thank you again, yes. Praise the Lord. We're thanking you all. Anyone else? Anyone else? Because this is such a great day, and we're so glad to have all of you worshiping. Yes, Sister Mill. I would like to acknowledge the presence of my brother, Brother Clarence Harris. He's not able to unmute, but he is online, and I thank him for joining in with us today. Oh, we're glad to have Brother <laughs> Delighted, Brother Clarence. Delighted to have Brother Clarence has with us this morning. What a blessing. Amen. What a blessing. Amen. 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 Good, good morning, New Unity. My name is Nicole Stepney Hopkins. Hi, Sister Nicole. Good to Hi. Hi. <laughs> and I was invited by Deacon mm -hmm. Kearney, and it's great to be mm -hmm. here this morning. Amen. We're glad to have you. Glad to have you. God bless you. 
That's one of those high steppers used to be at the Baltimore coach when they used to be our football team used to parade up and down the streets of Baltimore when they, when they had those big games. I know, Nicole, I remember seeing you out there in the cold weather up there going for the Baltimore coach. Say, hey, man, good to see you. That, that goes back a day or two, huh? Yes, it does. It does go back. Yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Pastor Golden? Wonderful one. One more, Pastor Golden. Pastor yes, Golden. please. Uh, Tommy, Tommy just texted. She said, isn't that Pastor Golden on there? I want to let him know that I'm on the phone here. And I want, I want, I want to say something to him. I don't know if he's opened up the mic, but he said he saw you. You see everyone, you know, so I want I wonder, and Tommy Wilson and Pastor Golden. I hope he can get through to say hello to you. Good, good, morning, good morning, Pastor Uncle and Reverend Auntie. How are you, son? <laughs> well, well, it's, 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 uh, I can call the old days now. It's a family reunion. It's a family reunion. <laughs> wonderful, 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 wonderful on this bright, sunshiny Sunday morning. Anybody else before we have Brother Francis Dixon come to share a word and, and music Amen. with us? Amen. Anyone else? We yes, see, my see, principal, we see yeah. principal Alicia Manning in the house as well. Well, who is that, Sister Huda? Principal Alicia Manning, principal from Cecil Elementary. Good oh, yes. Where is she? Amen. Where are you, Alicia? You going to open up your mic? I invited her. And I invited Meg, Megan Dennis. Megan Dennis is the mother of my granddaughter. And believe it or not, Alicia Mannings is my, I still call her my sister-in-law. Who is this speaking now? Sister Tanya. Sister Tanya Scott. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Amen. Sister Amen. Alicia, you want to say hello? She may have stepped away. Praise the is Lord, Pastor Golden. Is she a school teacher, a principal? Principal at Cecil Elementary School. Well, she knows you don't talk in class. That's why she's not saying anything. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, unity. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. How are you? I'm just on here being incognito. So I'm going back off. So good to see you all. Happy New Year. And may God continue to bless each and every one of you. Amen, Dr. Carr. Dr. Kevin Carr, thank you so very, very, very much. Amen. Good friend of this ministry. Amen. Anyone else before we move on? Anyone well, Pastor, else? Pastor, I was going to mention that cousin Kevin was on and, and he just uh, he chimed in. Also, I know uh, Raven is on as well. Wonderful, both. Hey, Raven, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Amen. The opportunity is hers if she chooses to. If not, we would, we're glad to have her. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good to see you, Raven. Anybody else? Sorry. Yes, Good Pastor, morning, Brother everyone. Francis. This, okay. is Brother, this is Brother Francis. I want to say that my dad is on here. Okay. He just wanted to say hello. Praise the Lord. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, man. Sharp looking, too. Thank you for being with us this morning. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Beautiful, also, beautiful. Pastor, also my sister Verlene is on, and my daughter Kendra Quest. Where is Verlene at? Where is Verlene? Verlene? She's been trying to say hello, but she everybody's talking. Verlene, I want to see you. I haven't yes. seen you since we were teenagers, and that was but uh, last week. <laughs> Where is she? I'd like to see her if she wants to come on, please. Sister Verlene, if you want to open your mic and speak, you can. She probably had to go do something for the pastor. Amen. <laughs> I guarantee you that. That's what she's doing. But thank you for being with us, amen, this morning, amen. We were all teenagers, teenagers together, growing up together 50, 60 years ago. How the years have come and gone. Amen, amen, amen. All righty. I think we may have everyone. Is that right? They want to overlook anyone. Raven was speaking. She was trying to speak. All right. We'll give an opportunity, Brother Phil. In fact, I did hear it. I, did, I heard. Go right Good ahead, Raven. Good, Good morning, morning everyone. Good morning. Good morning. All right. All righty. Good morning, Mochi. everyone. Who's this now? I have. Um, Go right ahead. Good morning. 
I have with me um, Lolo and um, Melissa, Marvace, and Lil Morgan, the baby, and and um, Nadine have some more um, phone numbers that she has. But right now, this is what I have with me at the house. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank every one of you. Don't they look good this morning? Thank y'all for being with us. Thank you so very, very, very. Who is that baby they're holding back there? That's that's little Morgan. Morgan? <laughs> yes. Oh, is that a boy or girl? I can't see with these old eyes of mine. Boy. Morgan the boy. Okay, like Morgan Freeman. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank well, you all for being with us. You got four generations right there in that one picture. Right? Wow. Wow. Is that right? God bless you, Deacon Jackson. Oh, and man, write the history daughter, down. Daughter, and then the grand, two grands. Praise the Lord. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? All right there. Beautiful. Catherine, you got them all. Tito, Jermaine, Michael, the whole Jackson 12. Okay. Amen. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Even, even Joe might be knocking on the door. Who knows? Amen. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Is there anybody else? Hey, man, anybody yes, else? Yes, Pastor. It's um, Sister Nadine again. I don't know who else I have on here, but um, Shakira Brown is on, but she cannot speak because she's also on with her church at the same time. Sure, sure, sure. Doing double duty. All right. No, no okay. problem. Pastor, also, I'm sorry, again, uh, Michelle uh, is on uh, Jenny's daughter and uh, Kim Davis, a friend of uh, Pastor Ellison, our family. And this is fantastic. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. But listen, everybody, if you don't mind, and we would delight, be, we don't want to steal anybody from anybody's church. We want to make that absolutely clear. But we'd love to send you a word. Uh, if we could get your email address or those who invited you, get your email address. We just want to send you a word, word of thanks. That's all. Just a word of thanks. Amen. And delighted that you decide to come and share with us here on this Martin Luther King Celebration Day, this Family and Friends Sunday. Amen. Amen. All right. Anybody else before Brother Francis? Brother Francis? I think we got it. You got your father and your mother in the room with you. You got your father in the room, your mother in the room, your Aunt Gail in the room. Man, y'all going to eat well today. All right. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Thank you so very much. Amen. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe. We shall overcome someday. Lord, I hear the showers of blessing. Thou art scattered me full and Showers the thirsty souls refreshing. Let some drops now fall on me. Lord, I hear showers of blessing. Thou art yet free, full and free. Showers the thirsty souls refreshing. Let some drops fall on me. Even me, Lord, even me, let some drops 
So very, very, very much. Amen. We do bless the Lord again for the presence of every heart and every soul here today. Oh, we have much to be grateful for in the unity and thankful for, for the Father has been extremely gracious to us today. Amen. Indeed, so absolutely kind. And each of you, amen, I reached out to family, to friends, to co-workers. And you wonder, uh, Deacon Rhonda Thomas, the John Hopkins Hospital is the number one private employee in the state of Maryland because half of them work with you. Amen. And oh, how we are glad to see so many persons and school teachers and people, young people and family, Sister uh, Francis Jackson Deacon, generations all in one household. And oh, how we bless the Lord for every heart, every soul from Atlanta to Georgia to Minnesota to Texas to the Eastern Shore. Uh, here in Baltimore and other places known and unknown. Again, we do thank every one of you. I want to share a word ever so briefly with you this morning. Amen. Out of this 15th chapter of the gospel, according to St. John, and let me read these verses with you. And if you have someone in your home with you, a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, someone, get a little bit closer to them this morning, won't you? Because I just want to share a word with you. Um, to all of us in the midst of all that is happening in our nation, in, in the midst of the great uh, celebration for tomorrow in honor of Dr. King, and then on Wednesday, amen, as we bring in to office officially um, Mr. Joseph R. Biden and Ms. Kamala Harris and their families as our nation's 46th uh, president of these here in the United States. St. John chapter 15, beginning with verse 12, read thusly. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, as I, Christ speaking now, have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, Jesus says, if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant does not know what his Lord do, does. But I have called you friends. For all things that, the, that I have heard of my Father, I have made known, I have revealed it unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth, forth fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he, the Father, may give it to you. These things I command you, that ye love one another the word of God indeed for the people of God. And Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Someone gave this definition for a friend. They said a friend is someone who overlooks your broken fences 
and admires the flowers in your garden. Someone else said, a single rose can be my garden, a single friend my world. Miss Michelle Obama in her book, Becoming, I'm sure many of you have read it, Mrs. Obama said, friendships between women. So she's been specific here. As any woman would tell you, a built on a thousand small kindnesses swapped back and forth over and over again and again. Listen to this. A friend is someone who knows all about you and yet they still love you. Ah, here's an admonition. Says, keep away from those who try to belittle you or to belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that. But the really great ones make you feel better uh -huh, that you can uh, that you can become all that you want to become. And lastly, this one says from Mr. Jesse Owens, who was a great Olympic runner in the 1930 Olympics says, awards become corroded and rusty, but friends gather no dust. Oh, how blessed we are to receive these words. On this uh, day that we celebrate, the love doctor, the love preacher, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, as we celebrate our nation's transition, a peaceful transition of power. Yes, we've had some turbulence. We've had some travail. We've had some trouble in our nation, and we still are not through. But in large measure, we are still going forward yeah. by God's grace and God's goodness. What a perfect time, or what a more apropos time indeed, to talk about the fact that Jesus says, greater love have no man than this, than a man will lay down his life for his friends. And it reminds us that he calls us friends, and he calls us to a virtue called love. And if ever there was a time when we needed love in our nation, love in our world, surely it is now. We have these documents, these creedal statements, these, these creeds that we, that we have, that have governed our government, that established our government. We have this preamble, this word pre meaning, prefix meaning pre meaning before, amble means to be able to walk. And so before the constitution, the document could get up and walk, that is to say in a realistic sense, in the force of law, it had to have these, this preamble, which declares we the people, of the United States in order to perform a more perfect union. You remember from the sixth grade civics class, don't you? Uh, establish justice, ensure the domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, do establish and ordain this constitution of the United States of America. We have this declaration that we uh, think are the first lines of the, of the constitution, but the first lines of the constitution are not the declaration. The Declaration of Independence reminds, reminds us that we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men, and the framers did mean men in those days, that all men are created equal and thereby endowed by their creator. Look at this, he's saying, they are saying to us, it is no longer the GOG. It is no longer these freedoms, these truths that are established. They are no longer grants of government. A grant is something that's given to you, permitted, allowed. They are no longer grants of government as they came out of feudal, F-E-U-D-A-L, feudal Europe, as they were coming out of this old system. They were now into an age, a period that historians call the age of enlightenment. And one of the great writers, the great persons of this period was Mr. Thomas Jefferson. We hold these truths, all men created equal and thereby endowed by their creator, no longer grants of government, but gifts of God. No longer grants of government, where government would determine, but this was an unalienable rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of property. That was the original language, pursuit of property. It was Mr. Benjamin Franklin who suggested that it be turned, changed to the pursuit of happiness. Yes. In our constitution, we have these opening lines. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to separate themselves from the powers of others. We have all of these great documents. And then we have this greatest document of all, the word of God, 
the Bible that reminds us that Jesus says, I call you friends. You're no longer servants because the servant does not know what his Lord does. But I call you friends. Think about that. The God of the universe, he who walks on the waters, he who made us, he who created us, he who breathed into us. In the Hebrew, the word is ruah, the breath. In Latin, is spiritus. In Greek, it is pneuma, P-N-E-U-M-A. He who breathed into us the ruah, the pneuma, the breath, the air, the wind of life, he declares you are now my friends. You are no longer servants, but because the servant does not know what his master does. But everything, look at this, that the Father has revealed to me, I have shared it with you. Oh, glory to God. And look at us today. Look at this. Here we see people all over the landscape of America, right here on this Zoom experience with us this morning. Isn't that a blessing? We've seen white folk. We've seen black folk. We've seen Asian people. We've seen people that I don't know what, the, what, what their ethnicity are. And it does not matter because we are all the children of God. We are the people. So we are blessed this morning. We are blessed this morning. We are so blessed this morning by the presence of God. I want to say to America this morning, yes, America, with all of her credo documents, with all of her state, uh, statements, with all of her great men and women who have helped build this nation that we need more. So thankful, Sister Kiana, that you're going to be a teacher or you're working toward that, uh, that degree. Uh, lover of American government. So grateful, Sister Lana, there you are on the Eastern Shore, graduate of Bowie and transferred over to the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. So grateful, Sister Jessica, 26 years young, birthday coming soon, and so many others who are helping to build this nation. Yeah. Oh, how we need you so very, very much. Thank you, Dr. Orlean. Thank you for all of the wonderful Dr. Sybil and all of the wonderful healthcare workers, Sister Angela, uh, not Sister Angela, thank you, Sister Angela as well, but uh, Deacon Rhonda Thomas and all of the people in on Zoom here today helping to grow a great nation. Oh, how we are so grateful to God that he sent you our way this day. And don't we need friends? Who in this world does not need a friend? Sometimes we are troubled. Sometimes we are a little anxious. I didn't have a good night last night, if I can be personal, for just a brief moment. I was up. I had to get up. My wife said, where in the world are you going? I was up most of the night. Um, I had a lot of things going on in my, in my spirit. But then when I finally got back in the bed, fell asleep, it was just good to be able to fall asleep, amen, to wake up. Thank God for another day, amen. Get my clothes on, get my tea with lemon, amen. And I, I may let you in on a little secret, amen, about me. I eat peelings. <laughs> yeah, I eat apple peelings, I eat orange peelings, I eat lemon. Yeah, you don't have to tell them. <laughs> lemon peelings, uh, pear peelings, just about any kind of peelings I like. I don't eat banana water peelings, melon pe pe peelings, but I love the fruit thereof. And so I was able to drink my cup of tea and then eat the peelings, amen. That's why I'm so suave. <laughs> but oh, how we do bless the Lord. Thank every one of you for joining us. Jesus now reminds us here, doesn't it, that a man that has friends, a woman that has friends, a person that has friends, Here's, here is the criteria. What is that criteria? That you and I must first in a nation that is being torn apart, and we can hear the words of Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president who gave his life, mm, sitting there in the fourth theater just 40 miles away from us over in Washington, D.C. We hear Mr. Lincoln saying that a nation, he's quoting out of the Bible, out of the song, a nation divided cannot stand. 
He reminds us that a nation, and he says to us what? We hear these politicians over and over again on the left, on the right, the, the Republicans and the Democrats, the liberals and the conservatives, and whatever ilk and whatever covering they may have, they all like to quote Mr. Lincoln, and he use these words, may we let our better angels rise. That's a quote from Lincoln's address. And so where we let the better nature of our better angels rise, I say to all of us here today, let's reach out in love. In a, in a nation that's torn, in a city that's fractured, murders in our streets, so much mayhem and madness, so much sadness going on around us. Let you and I not forget that it was just, what's the day, the 17th? It was just 17, so and add five, at seven to 17, 20, it was just 24 days ago that we were celebrating the coming of this Christ child. It hasn't even been a month, you all. It hasn't even been a month that we were selling, celebrate. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Remember that we were singing this. We were singing joy to the world. The Lord has come. And I want to remind you that we are worshiping the Magi, the coming of the Magi and not the Maga. It's not the M-A-G-A, it's the M-A-G-I. It's the coming of those who come to celebrate the coming of this Christ child, that there may be peace on earth. And all of us gathered here today, we are witnesses, we are exemplars, we are participants, we are inspirations to folk that we can make this day a better day. And we can make this nation of ours a greater nation. Oh, yes, we can. I know somebody might be wondering, Pastor Golden, are you sure? I am absolutely convinced. And those of you who know me know how political I am and know how passionate I am. And I write about it. All you got to do is go on my Facebook page or better yet, go to the church's website and read some of those blogs I've written. And you can see just how passionate and political I am. But I tell you this. Greater love has no man than this, than the love that Christ Jesus had for humanity. He was willing to give his life for Republicans. Yeah. Think about that. He was willing to give his life for liberals. Think about that. He was willing to give his life for red states. Think about that. He was willing to give his life for black people, think about that. That all of us together, all of humanity, you look through the annals of history, saw the turmoil in America, but America is not the only place on this earth where there's turmoil. Yeah. We must open up our eyes and look beyond our borders. Yeah. We must not become insulated. We must not become insular and think that the only thing that I know the politic of the day with, th with cause of the thing that we are the only people on the globe that God loves. And we're the only people on the globe that matter. But I want to remind you of what we were taught as children. Jesus loves the little children. Red, yellow, black, white, they are precious. We are all precious in his sight. Close these words. Miss Kamala uh, Harris, uh, Asian mother, Jamaican father. I hope his father come, her father comes. Somebody pray. He's a little upset with her right now. Pray that daddy would come. Mommy, he's, he's 82 years young. He's a brilliant um, um, uh, economic professor from Stanford University. Pray that the, that, that rift will be, will be mended and he'll show up uh, on Wednesday. But in due course, the God will, God will help them to mend as he's helped so many of us. But look at that wonderful family, Brother Randolph. There she is with a white husband. There she is with her sister, Maya. There she is with her niece who started this uh, T-shirt company uh, about a month ago. Some of you all may even have some of her T-shirts, um, particularly dealing with women and helping women's, uh, women's uh, issues and matters. Uh, look at her, her brother-in-law, a black man. All of this coming into Washington, DC. All of this coming into the White House. Can we do it? We must do it. Can we make, can we help America live out her creed? Yes, we can. But we cannot do it 
can't do it without recognizing the fact that our God created this world. No matter what the school teaches, and I understand that I've been there. I've been there. I've been to some pretty decent schools, talked to some pretty decent uh, professors, and anybody who knows me knows that I'm one of those people who love to, to talk philosophy and all that sort of thing. I'm Right now, I'm doing about 30 hours just on Dante, looking at Dante's poem, 14,000 line poem. It's going to take me 30 hours to go through this class. So I love all that sort of thing. Amen. Love it deeply. But believe me, nothing is more true, nothing is more sure than this book here, the Word of God. For all the books that I possess, and I have, I don't know how many, but I have a few. This is the most dearest to me, the Word of God. I must have about 50 different Bibles in my house. And so I want to encourage every one of you to move a little closer. Come stand with me there, First Lady, if you would. If your husband, if your wife, if your boyfriend, your girlfriend is close enough with you this morning, take them by the hand and let them stand next to you. Because the enemy would love to put division between us, separation. Is there anybody who hasn't been hurt in life? Is there anybody, Brother Francis, yes, who hasn't felt some sort of pain in life? It was Dostoevsky, I think it was Dostoevsky, one of the great Russian writers, writers that says, you know, it may have been, um, it might have been Nietzsche. But either way, he said, to live is to suffer. To find meaning in that suffering, that is life. And so suffering is part of the human experience. To find meaning, yeah, I think it's Nietzsche. Find meaning in that suffering, yeah. So let's come together, shall we? Families, husbands, wives, friends, children, grandchildren, neighbors, black, white, yellow, brown, all of the issues that divide us, separate us. You know they're man-made, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Call them artifacts. Anything that's man-made is an artifact. This is not what we would call in a scientific sense natural selection. No. These are things that we have set up to divide us, separate us, cause harm and grief. But let there be peace. Let it begin with you and me. I want to encourage you this week. Find your Bible. Somebody said, Pastor Golda, I don't have a Bible. You got a phone? You know that commercial in Baltimore says, if you got a phone, you got a lawyer. <laughs> you got a phone, you got a Bible. All you have to do is type it in right there in Google. Amen. You made a verb out of Google. How we turn a, a noun into a verb? All you got to do is Google it. Find that verse. Put, you don't even have to know the whole verse. Just couple of the words, just enough to get it in there. Google is intuitive enough that it'll help you locate it. And I want you to find this text, St. John 15. In fact, I want you to read 14 and 15. When Jesus says to his disciples as he's about to go away, 14, 15, 16, 17, this is the discourse on his, on his leaving. He says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, you believe also in me. In the Father's house are many rooms. He changed his mansions. I go away to prepare a place for you. Then he comes to verse 50, chapter 15, and he says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser, the husband man, the caretaker. So I'm going to ask you, Read that with your family this week. Wherever you are, wherever you are this morning, this message will be on our website uh, this week, so you can look it back up again, www.newunitybaptistchurch.org. Listen to it again if you don't get it now. Read these 14, 15 chapters. You can read 16 and 17 as well. John's great missive, great gospel. This love book, amen. So we... 
join hands now as First Lady and I join hands and hearts, amen. And we, we pray, we pray. I want you to bow your heads as we're going to pray for your families. On, is it Wednesday? When's the wings first time? Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday, our daughter will be, can't believe it, 40, I can't not tell the whole, the whole thing, but anyway, it's not 40 plus. I'll just leave it at that. Somewhere between 45 and 47. I didn't give it away. I did somewhere, somewhere between. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have a son who's 42. We pray that as God is blessing our family, that he'll do the same for you and your family. Bring you together. Keep you whole. Strengthen you, mend you, and that in all of the broken places, you and I will allow him to touch those sensitive places, the sensitive, the most tender, the most vulnerable places that we will allow the Spirit of God to touch. Thank God for doctors who take care of this soma take care of this physical, take care of this body. Only God can touch the spirit. Only God knows where our deepest hurts are. Because according to the psalmist, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And he made every one of us. So I want to pray for you right now, Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for your goodness to us. For every friend, for every family. We pray, God, that you will mend us back together again. We hear the words of Dr. King calling us to the beloved community. It reminds us that we should all live together or we should all perish together as fools. Help us to choose the right road. We hear Mr. Robert Frost, 1960 poet, at the inauguration of President John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Two rows converge together. Yeah. And I chose the one less traveled. May you be willing to go where others were afraid, where others dare not go. May we show love where hurt is. May we show kindness where meetings and discord is. May we share the peace. That's what we do. We share the peace. And now on this day, I want to open up the first to you, my brother. What does that mean, Pastor Golden? Simply means that I extend to you an opportunity to become a member of the body of Christ. That's all it means. Still praying for your families, yes. But whether you join New Unity or not, we want your families to be complete. Yes, we do, don't we? We want your families to be made whole, don't we? Yes, we do. After every service for the past 10, 11 months, we take our things down, we have lights and cameras and all that sort of thing. And then we go into the kitchen and we start cooking and getting stuff ready and uh, watching the football game and playing card games and scrabble and all sorts of things the rest of the afternoon and we'll do that again today it's going to be so much greater knowing that somebody else in the family the, the family has been expanded yeah somebody else has joined there's some wayward brother some son I can tell you because I have a son and have a daughter. We have a son. We have a daughter. Somebody might uh, have a rift in that family. I want you to know that Jesus is a bridge over troubled waters. Yes, he is. Miss Carol King, when was it? 
Oh, I guess it was in the early 70s. I was a young boy over in Germany at the time, United States Army. And Miss Carol King came out with that song. Ain't it good to know that you got a friend? Yeah, you got a friend. And I want to remind you today, you got a friend, church. You got a friend. And so wherever that riff, somebody may say, I grew up. With a brother that we no longer speak anymore. A sister. We need to lay in bed together and, and talk about boyfriends and what dress we were going to wear tomorrow. And now we don't even talk. Maybe some other situation in the family, in the home where unpleasantries are being shared. Today is the day that you can come to Jesus. Yeah. Start with him and allow him. The cross has both that horizontal plane, yes, and that vertical. Jesus says, now, how can you say you love God who you have never, never seen with the physical eye on the vertical plane, and yet you show hatred towards your brother and your sister who you see every day on the horizontal plane? So let's make it right. Father, we thank you today. Save somebody. Save somebody this day. We welcome you into the church. We welcome you to the family of Jesus Christ. If there's one here today, you simply say, Pastor Golden, I'm here. I make myself known to the church. I want to come. I want to join. I want to recommit. I want to submit my life to Christ. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you just simply unmute your mic or raise your hand or whatever, and we will be glad to receive you, to acknowledge you. You don't even have to live here in Baltimore. There is no distance in the kingdom. Amen. I just simply say, I want Christ Jesus to come into my heart, into my life. Lead me and my girl, my man, my family. Just simply lead me to a higher way of life. Is there one who will come today, surrender to him? The one who will come and be a part of this great church today, we welcome you. We welcome you. Wherever you are, is there one? Hallelujah. 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 Oh, bless his name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. of the Father who is ahead in the name of the Son who is the center of our life in the name of the Holy Spirit who covers us with his great peace. The church says amen. Come on. Come on. Brother Francis, I want everybody to open up their mics now. Maybe a little confusion there. Deacon Hoover, but it's all right. I want everybody to join in. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Everyone that wants to, we shall overcome. Brother Francis, let it out. Let it, let it echo out. Overcome racism, overcome, overcome hatred, overcome meanness, overcome all the things that are separating us as a nation. This coronavirus is deadly, extremely deadly. I encourage you not to take, not to play with it, but to take it seriously. I went on the website last night. When our governor opened it up to people 75 years and older, not 75 yet, but I went on the website anyway last night for Baltimore County, and I and I registered. Let me know when my turn comes, because as soon as I get the email saying you can go get the, the vaccine, I will be in line. And as soon, within three weeks later, I will be back in the line. I encourage you. I encourage you. I encourage you. Encourage you to take it seriously. Wash your hands. Open the windows in your houses, with, even in the winter time, just knock the heat up a little bit. Let some fresh air come in. Social distance when you go out. Wear your mask. Amen. But in the midst of all of that, let love be the guide. That's right. Let love be the guide. We were in the market yesterday up in the Amish Market and saw an old friend had a mask on. He didn't recognize it, but when I called his name, he turned around. Ah, yes. So the mask may hide the true you. But when you call the name, we'll know who you are. Call that name, Jesus, shall we? 
Come on, Brother Francis. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Someday, everybody. Come on, Brother Francis. Ring it out. Jackson, Minister Wilson, come say a final word to us. We have our benediction. We'll be on our way. Amen. Minister Dixon, Minister Cubs, our Minister Cubs, Minister uh, Dixon, Minister Wilson. Thank you so very, very much. Amen. You may be seated, Church. Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you this morning, Father. We thank you for knowing the men of friend and friendship. We thank you, Father, for healing one another through friendship, Father God. We thank you for the love, Father God. You are our friend, and we are your friends. In the name of Jesus, I ask that you would bless us as we go our separate way. Anoint our past and his wife. Anoint new unity and those who came to Christ. And God, let us show true friendship, not by mouth only, but in deed. In Jesus' name. Yeah, we're deacon uh, leader. I'm sorry, Minister Dixon. Hey, Amen. We truly thank God for the word of God on this afternoon. We thank God for what he has done in the blessed name of Jesus. And now we ask that you to go and hug uh, uh, your loved one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell them you love them. If you haven't said it in a while, uh, tell them you love them. The um, outcome of the family and friends um, uh, uh, gift. We did have gifts to give, and we have those who won. I don't know if um, um, uh, Deacon Hoover wants to do that on today, but we do have those who won. Uh, we know that it has been Sister Rhonda Thomas, yeah. amen, and Sister Jessica White. Uh, Sister Rhonda Thomas has taken both prizes, uh, both prizes. One gift was $25 to the one who bought the most uh, guests. Uh, $20 for the furthest away and $15 for the young person who brought someone. So we thank God for Sister Rhonda Thomas and Sister Jessica White for the winners. Give them a hand of praise. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, committee. I just want you to know that you don't have to um, put mine in the mail. I'm on my way. I'll be leaving out. Come and get mine in just a few minutes. I need, I need to, I, I need to, I need to take an afternoon ride. So you know, we're gonna jump in. The, so I'll just meet you on the highway. You can just talk okay. through the window as we're going around the beltway. Thank yes. you again, everyone. Pastor, Listen, one final Pastor, word. Yes, yes. I believe uh, our niece uh, uh, Candace Chesley is on from California. I saw that. Thank you so very much, Brother Phil. I did see that. Thank you. Amen. Thank you very, very much. We welcome her. I'm sure there are other persons who are joining us. Amen. We, we may not have, uh, but I did see that. Thank you so very, very, very much. And there may be others. And to all of you, whether you announce yourself or did not, we, again, we say thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. We mm -hmm. bless the Lord for every family, every person, every individual who shared with us on this day. We do bless the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We know some that some want to be acknowledged. We saw the aunt put that up. She didn't put it up. The aunt put it up. <laughs> and so maybe she didn't want it. But we say thank you for being with us, every one of you. And we bless the Lord for every family sharing with us uh, here this day. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Celebrate the goodness of Christ. Now, let me say one final thing. That's what I wanted to do. And then I'll turn it over to you, uh, who would say any final word. Please go to our website. There's a contact uh, tab there. If you visit us today, just go on there and just say, New Unity, we thank you for inviting us. You don't have to say anything else. We would love for, to stay in touch with you. We're not asking you to join the church. We're not going to solicit, I promise you, we're not going to solicit you for money. We're not going solicit, to solicit you for anything else. We just simply want to stay in contact with you, should you want to. 
Amen. But we would love to, to hear from you. You can go on the church's website. It's got a new design for the month of January, uh, even now. And uh, you can go in that tab that says contact us and uh, tell us what you thought about the service and uh, all the rest. And we will be so delighted to hear from every one of you. Amen. Chair Who, were there any final mm -hmm. remarks that we need to share at this time? Praise the Lord, Pastor Golden. We're grateful to the Lord. And we, we do see that chat that somebody said from Candace all the way 2,700 miles. So it looks like we got another winner on top of that. Amen. And so we're thankful to the Lord, Pastor. We want to remind our entire New Unity Church family that we'll see you once again. There's no Bible study on Wednesday night. So remember that. But we'll also be with you on Saturday morning at 7 a.m. for our prayer hour, as well as our Christian ed development on Saturdays and Sundays. Walk with the King today, New Unity, and be a blessing. Amen and amen. Amen, Let's amen. Go. Let's all stand. We're going to put that right hand uh, up to God as we... Sing praise God for whom all blessings flow. Somebody pray in your prayer today that I win Scrabble uh, today. And I can't win. Seem like I can't win nothing. Bingo or nothing. Every week seems like everybody else is winning but me. I think the cards are fair. Come on, Brother Francis. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Praise him. Praise our God. Oh, 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 Praise Him, the heavenly host. Permit me, New Unity, just one final one. For all of our seniors, we love every one of you. We want you to know that. A special Amen. shout out to our mother, Sister Porter. Took a uh, spill this week, but she's doing much better. She's home, doing well. Amen. Thank all of you for your prayers and call. And to all of our seniors, we want to ensure that we stay in touch with you week to week, time to time. Have a great day, everybody. Love every one of you. Thank Enjoy yourselves. You. God bless you, that Mother Thank Cross you. and all the rest. God Amen. Bless you, Thank you. Thank you. Amen. And Bless you, family. Safe. Stay safe. And you right. be safe. Have a good Have evening. Thank you. Everybody yes. prayed for me. Thank you. Great job, ministers. Well, to my mm -hmm. church family, this is Sister Teresa Patterson. God bless you all. Amen. God bless you. I didn't see Hello, you. Sister T. Listen, it's so good to see you today. You look beautiful. Oh, they're looking like twins. Yes, they do. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, y'all look, look just you. like oh, twins. Yes. Oh. Yes, look where's, wow. where's the mother at? Which one's the mother? Right. Oh, right. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That looks so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it. Isn't that right. a good song? Be sure, uh -huh. be sure you get Brother Rodney to take a picture of that, yeah, Sister Wanda. Please, and that's one of those ones you want to take a yeah. selfie and post that one. Right. I would make that I would make that my uh -huh. profile picture for, for a couple of weeks. Amen. Beautiful. Amen. God bless you. That's beautiful. nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Hi, Reverend Pastor Golden, Reverend Wanda, the Sister Thelma. Good to see you, sweetheart. How are God you doing? You. Good. Hello, New Unity. Hello. Hey, Kim, Kim, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, 
Okay, hi, Sister Hello, Hello ministers. How are you doing? Oh, we love you. Love you, love you. Love love you. Love love you too. Hi, Chameleon, Sister Sarah Williams. Hi, 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 Sister Denise. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Hi, cousin. I'm better today. You feel better? Thank the Lord. Yeah. The weather is How you been? You been? No, just the, the breathing, my breathing with this weather oh, changing. Yeah. Who was that? Her. But I'm good. Thelma. Yes. Thelma Brand, how you been? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Jeff, thank you so very much, all of you. Yes. We love you, Pastor. Love you all the more. Okay. So good to, so good to see you, Candace. It's really good to see you, Candace. Bless you, sweetie. Oh, look at you in them glasses. Oh. Looking good, Nadine. Oh, thank you. Yes, you're looking marvelous. Thank you. Waving. I thought she was somebody else. Okay. No, it's me. Hey, Candace. I thought it was somebody else. Thank you. Great word, Pastor. Hello to the twins over there. Hi, twins. Great job. Hey, Nadine. Thank you so much. Good morning, New Year, and it's a mm -hmm. blessed day. So nice. Hi, Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi Janola. Janola. Hello. Hi, we hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure. Y'all have a blessed day. You God bless you all. Love okay. you all. That's one. <laughs> we love you, Reverend Wanda. You know, ditto, sweetie. You know, that's a given. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, uh, Sister Candace, now I can see you. Now I got you on video on uh, on uh, top right. Oh, there on you gallery. Isn't she on beautiful? The Isn't she beautiful? Yes, I love that yeah, hair. Yes, yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. oh, there right. he is. Oh, oh, yeah. You look like Raven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. You look like Raven. Isn't yes, she you do. You look like Raven. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, this is Take that yeah. Where are you in California? Where in California are you? On the other side of the world. What'd you say? Where are you in California? Uh, I'm in Riverside. Oh, yeah. Riverside. Oh. We know Riverside. That's where you go get baptized. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. Down by, down by. Gonna lay down my burden. Down by the riverside and study war. Amen. Wonderful. All right. Wonderful. Amen. Bye, everybody. Sister Rhonda, thank you for bringing Hopkins to our church. Amen. Today, yeah. amen. Yeah. And uh, I just to thank Not you for all. Not colleagues, but they are really good friends. And you can yeah. tell it. You can tell it. Yeah. You can I mean, really I'm tell it. Related birthday, Andrea. And you're a good worker, Rhonda. Thank you. Thank uh, you. you. Brother Clarence Harris, thank you for being with us yeah. today, Brother Clarence. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a blessing? Hey, Clarence. Got hey, Clarence. Isn't that a blessing, Brother Clarence, with us Hi, today? Hi, Brother Clarence. Yeah. Sister, Sister Sarah Williams, thank you. Good to see you today. Amen. What a blessing. Thank you. My, yes, cousin, my cousin, brother from Houston, Texas, tell me, Sister Hoover, he finally got through and he heard the last part of the service. He, he went to the website and oh. passed, he saw you, Pastor Goldie. He said, I see, you, I see you, Pastor, all decked out. He said, <laughs> he was admiring you. Well, so wonderful. I, well, thank you so very, very much. I'm glad to know that. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Thank you. Have a good day, everyone. Sister Palin, you did a great job today. Again. LA, you did a good job, man. You're doing a good job over there. Thank you. Good to see you. I'm going to be in touch with you because I need, I need your help with our men's ministry. I'm going to be in touch with you. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you so very, very much. Okay. So long, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I see right. Brother Henry Beard is with us today also. Right. Henry, right, Henry, wonderful. Isn't that a blessing? Brother Clarence, Brother Henry. All right. All right. 
The Williams is last week. Be safe. Amen. 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 Who is this Kendra Quest now? Who is that? My daughter. That's your daughter? Yes, Pastor. That's my daughter. Now, how many? She's got what, 10? No, not that one. Don't I know, but I'm, I know Lisa got 12, so I think she got 10. She has, <laughs> she has one of her own, and her husband has two, so that makes three. Oh, they got work to do. <laughs> Don't let my daughter hear you. <laughs> She like you with the ages. Don't tell her age on nothing, please. Huh? She like you with the ages. Don't tell her. <laughs> don't tell her age on nothing. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You tell Lisa I'm looking to see her and then my buddy Levi and Priscilla. Oh, my God. You just line them all up. I know you can't get them all in the same room with the same <laughs> camera at one time, but you just tell them one by one. They just roll by the camera. We'll, we'll screenshot it when they come by. <laughs> Thank you all. You did a great job today. Really great. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank you oh, so very thank much. Thank you, Pastor Lord. You have a wonderful time. Bless, bless word. And you look so good. You look so good. You really do. Yes. Tina is on the phone, but she didn't want to say nothing. She said good morning. Quintina? Yeah, Quintina. Well, my Lord, I haven't oh, seen her. In... Uh, Hit star six, Tina. Tell her, just tell her, come on and say hello. Yeah. Hello? I don't know how to say hello. Hello? Okay, you say that's that's her. her. That's, that's it. 3106, no. is that her? Hello? I guess. Yeah, 3106. 897-3106. So glad. I've been hearing a lot of good a lot of good things about you, Quentina, about your business, about your catering business. And if you're still in Thank this area, if you don't move to California, when we get back, we're going to have to call <laughs> you to let, to let you do something for, for the church to help us out. I've heard you can okay, really go down. I heard you did a little thing for the mayor, and you've been out to California, yeah. and you've been doing a whole lot of good stuff. Atlanta, Miami, yep. Atlanta, I just from Miami. Atlanta. Yeah, so yep. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to sample some of your good your good cooking and all the rest. Okay. All right, wonderful. Sister Porter, are you there today? Mm, I see him for coming on. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, Gail. Thank you. Sister Porter, are you there? She might be talking to Brother Clarence. They might be doing a cross switch. Everybody's comment. saying they enjoyed the service, Pastor. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. I really they am. Said they stayed on. Usually they click people off, but they said they stayed on for the whole service. Isn't that good news? It's yes. good news. Yes. Isn't that good news? Isn't beautiful good? message, Pastor Golden. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lita. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate your encouragement. Inspiring, uniting. Yeah, thank you for thank you for okay. your encouragement. One for the books. Yeah.